Hello once again YouTube and welcome to another video with Simon from The Domain. Goodbye the SS Motion, but it's still the same guy. And today we are having a look at the Halo Mega Constructs Kinsano Cyclops Raid. We're gonna do a review and a speed build. Let's check it out. me rambling and I'll put it all together and here we are it's the Kinsano Cyclops I am hugely impressed by this thing. Honestly, this came out way better than I expected. Overall, this is an overwhelmingly positive review for this set, especially for the price point. First, we'll start off with Morgan Kinsano. Now, I've actually read into her backstory and it's a really cool one. The fact that she was ex-insurrection, I guess, explains all these rad tattoos. She's coming up from the ranks. She's a you know, former Hellbringer. Kinsano is a leader that's certainly all about fire and damage, which really blends well with a leader, for example, that can stun or um, pull units into a certain place. I believe this is the new Flame Marine helmet. She wasn't a Flame Marine, but she was a, a, a Hell Jumper. No, no, a Hellbringer. She's a you know, former Hellbringer. Yeah. Now, if you took a time capsule back to five years ago on this channel and heard me ranting about how little there are paint applications. And it's a bit of a shame we've got sticker detailing. You can see a bubbling effect appear in here. It would have been nice if it was printed on pieces like this where it was just one piece. I would have never imagined that such a high level, high quality of printed detail could be put on figurines. This blue and red is just so well applied across both the shoulders and the chest and then it follows a really nice color scheme all the way through that you could only really achieve with new articulation. They've missed a bit of paint on her lip but I mean it's such a small amount of detail I couldn't be mad about that. But the other figures we have to talk about are, are ones that obviously I've been very very excited to get my hands on. The brand new flood infection forms. These things are the real deal. These look genuinely like they do in Halo 2 Anniversary when they just look so lethal especially attacking the Prophets. The great journey waits for no one, brother. Not even you. The, just the squiggly detail, the wiggles, squiggles of those tentacles, they're disgusting. If you compare them to the old flood infection forms, because it's two pieces, instead of painting on the ends of these tentacles, they can do a whole red tentacle piece, which I think just works way better. But then they did end up like having better washes on the figures. So maybe that's something they can improve on in the future. But it's very, very generous that it comes with three in one set. These have the shape of a flood infection form just nailed. These are fantastic. Your pal. Where is he going? Uh, you finished hardly stopping. Ooh. Broke her arm. Peg in the back of the torso, as usual, and it's actually really seamless that uh, it's built into the structure of the Cyclops that it has a peg here, and she'll hold in place really, really nicely. Now, this design is amazing. My old prototype set review that there's a lot of skin showing, and that's kind of a bit weird. I thought it would be the same with this one, but actually, the design is insane. It's so cool how she just sits in place like this sits in place like that, and then everything just folds around her in just a really seamless way. The one thing I will say is I thought she would be holding on to something. I thought there'd be some handlebars based on the set images. The next thing that I think a lot of people will point out is that the legs are not articulated. They're just one joint. When you put it down, she can't really, like I would love her to extend her legs and stand a bit taller. At the same time, it's be careful what you wish for. When you look at the old Mantis set, this thing had articulated joints and it would never, ever stand up. It's like, it's genuinely impossible to stand this mantis up on its own. Look at that, it literally just fell apart. <laughs> These are fully articulated on two ball joints, three fingers on either side. These flames that just came off like that. I mean, the whole thing comes apart occasionally. I would not recommend this set for a child, but for a collector, which I think this is overwhelmingly aimed at, it is exceptional so i like that okay the feet fall apart very easily painted decals are 
everywhere. There's even this uh, little danger symbol here. And then we've got the gas cylinders on the back. Also, just an incredible design. You know, you compare this to like an old Cyclops. This is the first one we ever got. My goodness, Mega Bloks, you have come a long way. The articulation is excellent. The flamethrowers are built wonderfully. Also add these nice antennas here, interlocking red pins that really keep everything firmly together. And the whole thing comes to life. I'm hugely, hugely impressed with this set. Maybe I need to play the Halo Wars 2 DLC now. So this was another Halo Mega Constructs review with Simon from The Domain. I'll sign this video off before we lose sunlight here. Thank you very much for tuning in today. And thank you also for the amazing support you gave me for my competition, spreading positivity through the Easter weekend. And I've also got a diorama I'm working on for Halo Wars 2 and a bundle of other videos. It's gonna be a great month. Insano Cyclops is signing off. Mixed with mechanized units, that's an awesome combination. Consano's Flame Cyclops is something that's near and dear to my heart because I love mechs and any excuse to get another mech in the game, I'm, I'm all in.